What's up? Today, I'm going to show you how to make a transition edit. So, um, I'm currently watching the Euros right now. It is halftime, but I figured this is a better time than ever just to show you guys how to give you a little recap um, because someone requested how I sort of like make my transition edits. So, I'll play the edit and then I'll show you guys how I made it. Let me blow your mind. Okay, so with the transition edit, there's only a couple things I really want to go over. I've gone over this in a previous video, but when it comes to making a transition edit, just for recap's sake, on this left top section here, you have your tempo. So the original sample from uh, Let Me Blow Your Mind is actually 90. And then what I did was if you right click and hit show automation, you'll actually have your tempo slider down here. Um, so you can actually adjust the tempo here. And that's what I'm doing is I'm actually adjusting the tempo so that it is slowly building from 90 up to 124. Yeah, up to 124 um, to the Siggy. Another big thing I wanted to go over here is when I'm using like these effect samples, I'm typically turning the warping off. There's usually not delays or anything crazy on them. And then I'm usually using like a side chain or something like that to have sort of like a tempo and a groove be established to these effects. Um, because sometimes Ableton can be really weird when it comes to warping, like impacts, white noise rises, falls, things of that nature. So if there isn't any sort of like set delay tempo that can help you quantize and set it to a grid, I usually just turn the warping off. And then I just deal with the sample as it is. And then I move it to the correct section and then I leave it there. And yeah, that does it for the transition edits, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> sorry, this is a really quick video, but this is kind of just like a rehash. I got a request from someone asking me to go over it again. So this is me going over it again for you. Um, trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter now. Um, hopefully you guys like them shorter, just sweet to the point, all that jazz. But I'll be back next week showing you guys a disco edit I made for this new venue I'm DJing at up in DC. But until then, take it easy. Tell someone you love them all that good stuff. And I'll be back soon.